Hello everyone, this is a tutorial for Metal Solid 2, how we can do the so-called Amazip. The Amazip has been originally found by, by the runner named Miss Chelsea's, and she just did it randomly. We then had different runners find setups, and the setup that I will show you today was found by BMN. And I wanted to do a quick video showing the inputs bit by bit with a little bit of vocal explanation. This might be easier for somebody else to learn, rather than having a video example and reading through text. So, how do we do the zip? In practice, it looks like this. There you go. Now, the demo has been zipped, the room goes into an alert state, and you can go all the way to the bottom here. Let's take a close look here in the beginning. In the beginning, Right as we load into the room, you want to hold D-pad upright. So hold D-pad upright. And then when you get to the wall, as you are basically facing all the way to the right, let go of everything. As you let go of everything, hold first person and square to drag Emma basically from behind you in front of you. And you want to hold her as long as her animation is slowly going to the left. You can see we're holding here a little bit and her swing is basically going left and right. Now she will of course at some point want to let go. And then she will fall over. So we gotta be quick of course here. Once again, hold up right here with the D-pad. Go all the way. You basically wanna hold. And you see like rightness slowly then as he touches the wall, just face right. Even though you're holding up right. And that is correct. You wanna have him look all the way to the right. Grab Emma, let go of her, when she's basically in the scrap animation going all the way to the left, or as most left as you can. When you let go of her, you need to go with the D-pad and press yourself against the wall. You gotta do it quickly. Let go. And now in this state, you wanna basically do just one punch to get a little bit distance from Emma. And you wanna do this punch just as Emma starts going up and her top basically is disappearing behind Raiden. Punch as the pink top vanishes beneath Raiden. And there we go. We just need to stand there and wait. And if you do this execution clean enough, with every aspect intact, she should basically bump very quickly. And usually doesn't require that you need to do anything else. Just go all the way to the top right, hold her in first person once, let go when her swinging is basically all the way to the left. Lean against the wall, let go and do one punch timed well when she's in the when she's standing up and her pink shirt is vanishing. Now there are a few things where maybe you do this wrong and the execution doesn't work quite well. And in that case there's still a little bit of a backup that you could do here. Say for example we did a mistake and punched too many times and like we want to go back but we can't do it really, like, like this is a bit awkward. So what can we do if we mess it up? You can try as a backup still go from left here all the way here and just go right. And go from the self, turn up and try to bump it like this. This is of course not ideal and technically you could just use your analog stick and try to bump it this way just as she's wasting the ball. But as you can see it can still work. Just by her being placed in the corner this way and you just randomly going around, it can work as a backup. Not really recommend it. I personally would recommend you you still perfect these timings on the execution, as I explained with the D-pad movement, and that Emma should always zip here in this elevator. So what happens after you did the Emma zip? Well, here's an example for very easy. And after that, I'm going to show you how you can do this still on easy and high difficulties with the alert carrying over into new rooms. Let's do it one more time. Hold up right. Order. Let go as she's on the way and on the left. And then as you lean away. There you go. We needed two bumps, but it's still fine. And on very easy, at least you can go all the way here. Because we will get an alert. But as we leave the room, this will be fine. Because once we leave the room, the alert will have dropped. And we can return here. And this is why Amazon saves us time. 
because once we come back here, Emma will actually be not be in the elevator anymore. She will be at the end of the room, and we can drag her from here. Now, you can do a second zip in the next room, which is for a different video, or alternatively, you can do Emma Bump. So it's really depending on what you want to do. If you have taken the risk here and you don't want to do the second zip, you can still do the Emma Bump and save a little bit of time. If you want to do the KL uh, zip, you have to drag Emma through the door. You can drag Emma up like this and then go for her. Now she's bumped over the door. She will be standing a little bit further ahead instead of being behind you. Note, this is only working on the PS2 version or the PC version. And of course, the original Xbox version. On the HD versions, so on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox Series console, this does lead to the game crashing. So do not bump Emma over this door. Here's an example how you can do the Emma zip on non very easy difficulties. As you do the zip, there are two alternatives. A way you go down with the elevator, that way the alert just never happens. And you can just get the elevator up again and then continue the room just like we did on very easy. You have to walk, of course, through the room without the guard seeing you, which is totally fine. As we come back here, or normal difficulty, for example, you can bypass that guard. Come down here to this guard. And then after that, we can just come up here. Because this room has changed after we zipped Emma, there's no guard here. And there's no second guard at uh, the south corner, basically. And from here on out, you can either continue walking through the door to set up the KL zip, or you can just do the ammo bump like this and continue from there. Here's an example of what you can do alternatively on normal as well, if you have an extra chaff that you can use. Once you get out of the panel, throw the chaff, get ready, you will be put back on the panel. Now, go up to the right, drag ammo again, and just like always, do the regular zip setup. If you're lucky, she does zip within three bumps, but you also have the alternative. And as long as the radar is active, you are definitely fine. Because there's no new alert coming in. And you see this guard here at the bottom? He has actually his sprinting shoes on. You can just follow him, actually. And the cool thing is, he actually opens the door for you and you can carpet through this door. I've done this at least on easy and normal difficulties. And it definitely makes it faster compared to going down the elevator and coming back up the elevator again. Of course, this means you need an extra chaff, which you might don't have left over. So you gotta make the decision on the spot if you even wanna do Emma's website at all here in this case. Once again, I did this for easy and normal difficulty runs, but you can also do this potentially on higher difficulty runs. The important thing is, no matter what you do, Emma zips will always cause an alert to happen. On very easy, that's not a problem because we just leave the room, come back, and they will reset. And then on higher difficulties, from easy onwards, of course, we need alternatives. So the alternative is either go down the elevator and come back up, or use a chaff if you can, and then return. It should still save you some time with the elevator. With the chaff, it's definitely better. And of course, the easiest method is on very easy difficulty. Shouts again to BMN for finding the elevator setup like we did here. And of course, good luck for your runs, and I'll see you on the leaderboard.